And hello everybody, welcome back to the channel guys, I hope you're all well before we do get into today's video, as always, please do smash that like button and subscribe to the channel for daily Liverpool content. Yes, another game is here, we are here now guys, two games a week, just off the back of the win against Leicester City and straight into another one, of course, this weekend against Tottenham Hotspur. Now this is a real big test for us, it really is, everyone's getting carried away, everyone's getting excited, including myself, as to what this season could bring but personally I do think Chelsea was a little bit of a test at the start of the season going away however as time went on we re realized that well Chelsea are pretty dreadful um, and then of course went to Newcastle again another side that are great and we did fantastically well we've passed every single test that we've been given but I do feel Tottenham is probably the hardest one so far this season yes Tottenham is super crazy that that is our hardest test this season um, however under their new sort of regime under their new manager Ange Postagoglu Spurs have started the season very very well and they are one of a few teams that are currently unbeaten this campaign they have won all games bar drawing in the North London derby at the Emirates and of course drawing against Bournemouth on the opening day of the season but Ange Postagoglu has got this really really good style of play at the moment and the reason why I do believe it will be our biggest test is because we have a knack of conceding first, one. And then secondly as well, we're not that astute at the back, despite our quality, our sheer quality within the middle of the park and in the in the attacking areas. Our defence is still a bit iffy. It's a little bit iffy. Um, and as I said, I'm not that deluded to think that we're the finished article just yet. Um, so I do believe this will be a big test for us going into this match. Of course, ahead of the clash, there is some massive news. Of course, we're going to be going through with you. We're going to be going through a little bit about the opposition as well. I'm going to go through my projected team lineups uh, whilst also going through a few other bits and pieces within the Liverpool space. Now let's start with the news that broke yesterday. Of course, Liverpool um, getting invested in by Dynasty um, £126 million, I believe it is, €150 million Euros invested into the squad, or invested into the club. Um, this is to cover the sort of Anfield Road debts, uh, or Anfield Road stand debts, the XA Training Centre, the re- um, the repurchase of Melwood and then of course some of the COVID debts that we had during that period with no fans in. Now as I said it's uh, an investment, it's a minority investment, £126 million isn't a lot in this day and age but as I said it's quite a good thing to see. A lot of people are having either a positive outlook on it or a negative outlook but me personally I do believe it is a positive and hopefully that will free up some funds so that we can go carry on investing on the pitch. Mike Gordon did state um, that this will help us, um, they are committed to Liverpool on and off the pitch um, over the next or over the long term future. So it may not be the, the takeover that everybody wanted, but having some minority investment, having some investment coming into the football club is very, very good and also really good to see. I'm not going to spend too much time on it. I am late to the news with this one. Um, so yeah, as I said, you probably all know about that right now. So that's uh, great to see. But let's go on and talk about the games, the, the game this weekend. Now, of course, Liverpool have spoken to the media. There is some massive news with regards to Trent Alexander-Arnold. He's fit and ready to go. However, having said that, he may not start. He may or may not start, depending on how he comes through. But I do believe he'll make some sort of cameo coming into this game. Of course, did go off injured prior to the international break against Aston Villa. Missed the international break and has missed much of the season until now um, but as I said I do think it's a bit too early maybe to come straight into the squad and play a full 90 minutes however he is back in training and he looks like he can be in the squad quote unquote from Jurgen Klopp um, there's also a little setback for Stefan Bishesic again another player that I think is fantastic in terms of a young player him and Ben Doak really taking the headlines this season and last season uh, but Bishesic is still out he's had a little setback and then Thiago still out with his hip injury and same with Connor Bradley with his back injury. Um, as I said, the big question will be, um, is is Alexander Arnold going to be starting again in my personal opinion I don't think he will however I do think he'll come on off of the park at one point my starting 11 will probably be Allison, Gomez, Canate, Van Dyke, Robertson then in the midfield is Sabozlai, McAllister, Jones he's kept that midfield free and up top is Mo Salah, Nunes and Diaz I think that's the best that sort of non-European front three have been absolutely fantastic caused chaos in the last few games and I think that's our best front three at the moment having said that I think it's a bit harsh on Diego Schott he keeps on scoring goals whenever he comes on, but he offers something a little bit different. 
So Bosley's been absolutely fantastic. He's been absolutely fantastic. Same with Jones, same with McAllister. And then, of course, the only thing I do find a little bit iffy is our back line. Um, however, it's something that we need to try and eradicate. I know it's a laugh and a joke, and we all get in, uh, we start laughing, loving it when we make these comebacks. And it's great to see that we have got that grit and determination to make those comebacks. But there is going to come against an opposition that who may be a little bit better and have more quality than like a Leicester or a Lask or the other sort of sides that we played. Um, and we won't be able to get back into the game. So I do think it's all important. I know we love these comebacks, and I know we keep talking about the spirit, but as I said, sometimes it's going to be going a bit too far. So we do need to eradicate that from our game, and I do think it's something that Jurgen Klopp will have looked at and hoped um, to, as I say, get out of his game also, which is yeah, interesting to see. Now, with regards to the opposition, it does, it does seem as though James Madison's going to be back. Madison again. I do personally believe um, Dominic Sabozla has been the midfield or the side signing of the season, pound for pound. But then again, in close second, I do think James Madison, I think he's been absolutely fantastic for Spurs. I always liked the player when he was playing for Leicester. Um, and he did pick up an injury against Arsenal. There was a doubt ahead of the weekend. However, it does look like he will be okay for the game against us, um, which is a blow if you look at it like that. But as I said, um, they're going to have their best players. Key players I've seen this season as well is uh, Basuma. He's been absolutely fantastic in the middle of the park. Um, Son's dangerous. Madison's dangerous. Um, and yeah, just an overall dangerous, dangerous team. If you've not watched Angeball, then you'll probably be in for a bit of a treat. Um, it's very, very different. It's very intense. Um, it's not like a Spurs side that you'll probably be used to. Under Conte, under Jose Mourinho, sort of parking the bus. Ange Ball is very, very, very um, intense. It's, it's on the ball, on the front foot constantly. And that's why that sums up why they've got a lot of late goals. And this will probably give our defence a good test. That was what I was saying. You know, when we come up against a team that we can't afford to let a goal go, I'm talking about Tottenham. They're going to be savages. They just constantly, constantly keep on going. I know, I'm talking about Tottenham Hotspurs as savages, which is absolutely crazy. But Ange Ball is is nuts. And this is not the first time I've seen Ange Ball in the Premier League. As I've said so many times, I've got Scottish family and I watched the Scottish Premiership a lot and I did see him tearing it up for Celtic across the border, uh, up above the border, uh, which is to my disgust. But um, it was um, quite frustrating. But yeah, he's very, very intense. Celtic used to get a lot of late goals and they were constantly, constantly attacking. And that's what he's kind of got his message across in this Spurs team. So I do believe it's going to be a huge test for us. I really do believe it's going to be a huge test for us. Having said that, if we get out the other end with another three points my goodness me I'm going to start to really really get excited I'm excited now but I'm really really going to get excited if we uh, manage to win this one and of course Brighton away as well in before the international break uh, but Liverpool fans that's all I've got for you today do let me know your thoughts down there in the comment section below let me know your school predictions down there in the comment section below um, and as I said that does bring us into today's video as always please do smash that like button and subscribe to the channel for daily Liverpool content thank you guys and I'll see you all next time take care Push.